um Clay gloves i hope you're doing good man um today we are continuing with our revision for life sciences mm -hmm. so um yes again this is one of the popular questions that um always usually pop up during examinations okay yes yeah, so this one uh, metric division is always there okay metric division is always there guys so please pay attention and please be ready for for the for the revision for the day okay yes aha uh -huh, so question two so 2.1 says the diagram below represents two stages of metric division so as you can see that the very first diagram that is given diagram one okay um that's a specific metric division stage uh diagram two that's a stage again under metric division mm -hmm. so um by looking to our diagram one you can see that um to our diagram one you can see that there is a process that is taking place there between those chromatids i don't want to tell you um or show up uh -huh. that um process that taking place there because i know one of the questions we will pop up and say um, give um, the process that taking place at diagram one okay yes so diagram two you can see that it's obvious that um, the the homologous pair of chromosome are lined up on the equator uh-huh so um, with different genetic material and so on so um, yes so we also have a b c up to d okay our letters pointing in each and every different part of these um, diagrams that are representing metric division so let's just jump into the question okay so question 2.1 says identify the stage of masses represented by a diagram one then b diagram two then diagram one you can see that that's a prophase one okay yes prophase one because um of the process that i don't want to tell you uh-huh yes that i can see that so diagram two you can see that um two homologous pairs of chromosome are lined up on the equator with different materials okay genetic materials but i mean yes so that's metaphase one so let's go and write down okay let's go and write so that's prophase one prophase one and metaphase one so diagram two is meta phase one hey so sorry <laughs> Uh -huh. so 2.1.2 let's jump to 2.1.2 fast and quick okay so 2.1.2 say identify um a b d yes so identify a b d so our a as you can see that it's a round thing that connects our two chromatids okay so you know that th that's a that's a centromere then our B homologous chromosomes, okay? Homologous chromosomes. Um, our D is a is a centriole, okay? That is centriole. Okay, let's go and write them down. So our A we said it's um it's a centromere, right? So A is a centromere. Centromere. Then our B is homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes homologous chromosomes then our d is a um our d is central century central okay yes so I did a central let's jump to question one uh two point one point three 
okay so question 2.1.3 says uh -huh. let's go down sorry so it says describe the process that takes place at sea the process that i did not want to tell you guys yes i know that there will be a question that says let's describe that uh, process so that's the crossing over as you can see you can see that one chromatid, one chromatid is transferring a genetic material into into another chromatid on a different chromosome okay yes aha uh -huh, yes um on the point you know that point it's called a tears matter mm -hmm. yes so in all let's uh, let's go and check how many oh for max so in for max we can say um okay in for max we can say um homologous so sorry homologous chromosomes those lie side by side as you can see they're lying side by side side by side by side then a chromatid from the paternal and maternal chromosomes um can say they share the genetic material transfer the genetic material and so on so um we can say chromatid chromatid from the from the paternal and maternal maternal chromosomes chromosomes is uh, establish establish okay let me put a comma because that's another one mark establish establish conduct point called yes matter establish conduct point called yes matter yes right okay and this is known as crossing over and this is known as crossing crossing over yes so that's how it goes so a homologous chromosome lie side by side then chromatids from the paternal and maternal chromosomes establish conduct points called chia smart and this is known as crossing over okay yes the transferring of genetic material from other chromatid to other chromatids from a different chromosomes okay yes mm -hmm. okay so let's move to 2.1.4 okay let's move to 2.1.4 So 2.1.4 says explain the significance of the event shown in diagram 2. So let's explain diagram 2, okay? Yes, what is shown in diagram 2. Let's rub that. So that you can see clearly. Okay. Yes. So let's describe what you can see the diagram 2, okay? Yes. Significance of the event. A diagram two. So what's going on in diagram two? As I as I told you that, as you can see that um, homologous chromosomes randomly arrange themselves. Okay, you know in metaphase one, that's how it goes. So let's continue by writing it down. Um, that's out of three marks, right? Um, that's out of three marks. Uh, let's go and look again. That's out of three marks, okay? Yes, that's out of three marks. So by looking at metaphase um, one, we can say, 
um, homologous as chromosomes arrange themselves at the equator homologous chromosomes randomly arrange themselves on either side of the equator either side of the equator the equator okay yes so that's one mark um let's continue okay so we can say in this um, leads to the formation of the new combination of genetically different chromosomes and this leads to the formation formation of of the new co combinations Combinations of genetically genetically yes uh, different chromosomes yes so homologous chromosomes are uh, randomly arranged themselves on the either side of the equator and this leads to the formation of the new combinations of genetically different chromosomes okay so that's two marks then the last one you can say um, in the daughter cells which are gametes causing variation in the next generation yes um, of different chromosomes in the Daughter cells, check on it, okay, causing region next generation, the next generation. That's how it goes. That's um out of three marks, okay. You can see that. That's out of two marks. Um, yes. So that's the end of the lesson. That's the end of the revision lesson for for the moment, guys. Um, please, those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Uh huh. Let's grow. Let's grow. Let's grow. And please, let's pass our examinations. Okay. See you in the next following video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have learned more in our revision. Um, yes, see you. Have a great day. Cheers.